Guys, when we define what synergy is, to me, it's actually having a combination of perks and exotics, especially there from our subclasses, that allows you to utilize the class in the most efficient manner. Things that are constantly giving you back your dodge, your grenade, your class ability. Today, I wanna count down the top three synergy builds here in Destiny right now. These are my three favorites, so let's count them down. First on this list is on the Warlock class, and yes, I'm rocking Top Tree Voidwalker. A lot of good things that are about to be synergizing here, boys. Essentially, I'm rocking the exotic Nezarak Sin. This is an exotic Warlock helmet, and it grants you the exotic perk Abyssal Extractors. Void damage kills increase ability energy recharge rate. Now, this is void ability kills and void weapon kills. You can use something like Telesto. I personally use Inagra Address to keep chaining those void kills, and in doing so, you can see my abilities there coming back faster. But let's talk why we're going with Top Tree Voidwalker. A lot of people would say to pair this exotic with Middle Tree there, Dark Matter. Unfortunately, handheld Supernovas, which do a lot more damage, have an issue with activating both Abyssal Extractors and Dark Matter. I'm not sure if it's intentional on Bungie's part, or if it's a bug in the class itself. Regardless though, I still feel like Top Tree is the way to go, because it grants you Chaos Accelerant, hold to overcharge your grenade, making it deadlier and more effective. I specifically do this for Axion Bolts. Of course, you can do this with any of the grenades, but Axions is really good here, because it actually tracks down your opponents. Now, about a month ago here in Sandbox 2.0, Chaos Accelerant got a buff. It doesn't take any of your super energy away. But here is two other things here that are synergizing well on the subclass. You've got Bloom, which means void ability kills cause enemies to explode. And it also gives your melee the ability when striking an enemy to recharge your grenade. Needless to say, boys, the synergy here is fantastic, and I always have Abyssal Extractors going, which makes just about every one of my engagements, I have an overcharged Axion Bolt ready. Now, honestly, you can use Nezrak Sin with any of the other trees. I just personally like Chaos Accelerant in PvE. I think it does a fantastic job with dealing even with Majors because of Bloom and Chaos Accelerant. Now, for the rest of the duration of this video, I will mention the role that I I would look for on these exotics. As you know, we can get random rolls on our exotics, and these are things that are gonna also synergize not only with the exotic itself, but the subclass that you're pairing it with. So for something like Nezrak Sin, Enhance Ashes to Assets would be a wonderful, it would be the god roll perk, guys, to have there on this exotic, because you gain even more super energy on grenade kills. And as you could see, between Bloom and the amount of damage that these Axion Bolts are putting out with Chaos Accelerant, Enhanced Ashes to Assets will be utilized a lot, granting you more and more super energy. Unfortunately, I don't have that role on my Nezirak Sin, but I do use Ashes to Assets, and it's a fantastic perk, as well as the other perks here that we're going to be talking about on our other exotics. Next up is the Hunter class. We're actually going to be rocking Way of a Thousand Cuts, which is the middle tree there on the Gunslinger class. And we've got a lot of things synergizing here. First up, the exotic. Ophidius Spathe. It grants you scissor fingers, which grants you two knives per charge. A lot of people have already talked about this, and uh, yeah, I've, I've definitely seen this build. What I haven't combined it with, though, was actually with Prometheus Lens. As you know, guys, Prometheus Lens counts as burn damage, which essentially grants you infinite dodges. Because in the subclass itself, there is a perk called the Burning Edge. While enemies burn, your dodge ability recharges faster. This goes hand in hand with Aphidia Spathe because you'll be granted Gambler's Dodge more often, which when performed in proximity of your enemies, your melee will recharge. And in this situation, both your knives will recharge. But wait, we got more here, boys. Knife Trick, throwing a fan of flaming knives that burns targets on hit. In that same process, you're also granted the perk Playing With Fire. Destroying burning enemies recharges knife trick more quickly. Essentially, guys, you'll never run out of knives. Like, I mean, you could see this right here. It's just a continuous montage of knives. Now, you don't even have to rock Prometheus Lens with this. Definitely ways to utilize this without it. But the combination of perks that I'm also rocking here is I'm also rocking Dynamo, which grants you super energy when you use your class ability. In this situation, I'm already going to be in proximity of my opponents. I know it's going to get a nerf here soon. 
but you still gotta be in proximity of your opponents to get Gambler's Dodge. And I'm also rocking Hands On, which is another perk. Gain bonus super energy on melee kills. All of these perks, by the way, are found on your armor pieces. Hands On on your helmet and Dynamo on your legs. So the continuous synergy here is not only granting me my knife back and continuous burn damage on anything that I touch, but also granting me my super back very quickly. And I also think that if you were to rock this with a combination of super mods, the super regeneration here could rival that of even Shards of Galanor. A lot of good synergy here, guys. Again, you wanna make every little thing work for you. And that's exactly what this loadout is doing. Next up, boys, is our final synergy build. This is for the Titan class. We are actually gonna be rocking Middle Tree Striker, which I know is a little unusual, considering the exotic we're about to pair it with, which is Insurmountable Skull Fort. This exotic grants you the exotic perk Transfusion Matrix. Kills with arc melee abilities trigger health regeneration and restore melee energy. It's an instant restore of your melee energy, guys, if you can get a kill. For the longest time, we've always associated this exotic to be the best with Top Tree Striker. I like it with Top Tree Striker, considering everything there is synergizing to give you more grenades, and shoulder charge is a little more manageable. But the reason why I'm going with Middle Tree Striker here is the combination of perks here that feeds into your super. And yes, the God Roll Insurmountable Skull Fort is having the hands-on perk here as well. Because again, you're gonna continuously keep getting melee kills over and over. And hands-on is just gonna keep adding more to that. But let's talk about this subclass. It grants you the melee ballistic slam. After sprinting, you leap into the air, you press the slam into the ground and damage nearby enemies. That AOE effect is fantastic. It's much larger than that of a normal shoulder charge. Not only that, that ballistic slam gives me like an aerial view of where I want to hit my enemies. So it's fantastic here in Gambit because every one of my engagements I am constantly doing these ballistic slams. But then it also grants you the perk Impact Conversion. You actually gain super energy from hitting enemies with your ballistic slam. Notice how much my super bar is jumping up right here. Now, in a lot of situations, this really wouldn't be that big of a deal because you would just use your melee up. Insurmountable Skull Fort grants you your melee back as long as you get a kill, which continuously feeds into that super. This is one of the best synergy builds I have played with. I didn't think I was going to like it more than Top Tree Striker, but it's become my new favorite. Considering how much the maps, especially Gambit maps, are spread out, traversing the map can be somewhat of a task. This gets me from point A to B much faster, and the super regeneration is crazy fast. As you know, there's always three different areas ads will spot. After doing these ballistic slams, and I don't even have a god roll skull fort yet, meaning I'm not even working hands on with this build. Yet after wiping the first set of ads with ballistic slam, by at least the third set of ads, I already have my super. That's how fast ballistic slam and skull fort allows you to get your super back. And again, about traversing the map, getting from point A, B, and C, popping your super will allow you to get there even quicker. So boys, those are the synergy builds. Now I would like to mention, they're not the most lethal builds. We did builds this past week that are extremely lethal and you haven't checked them out, feel free to do that. These are builds that just allows you to be that one man army that I talked to you about. A lot of times in gambits, I'll, I'll realize I'm the only one attacking a mob of enemies. Maybe I got teammates on the other side doing their own thing. Maybe somebody's invading. Maybe somebody's just sitting in the back doing nothing. I don't know. These synergy builds though, Feed super energy as well as continuous ability recharges outside of just activating your super. There's a lot of things that, that feeds into that by activating your super. Ursa Furiosa, Shards of Galanor, Geomax Stabilizers, Topping Off Super, Crown Tempest. I know those are really good, but only when you pop your super. These synergy builds allows you to be that one man army that you need to be at times. No, they're not the most lethal, but that's not the point of them. The point is to find a setup here that goes hand in hand with exotics that grants you the ability to overcome large amounts of enemies. Well, fellas, we have been tied up with builds a bunch this past week. I've got a number of other things I want to try, but this week is going to be wild card builds. These are going to be just crazy things. I'm so excited about this next build, and it's, it's a warlock build of all things. So I'm super excited to be getting that one together, guys. It'll probably be out sometimes tomorrow. Fellas, thank you all for coming and watching, and as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Ooh.